In this video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of the light mode app with the night shift. So first things first, when you install the app for the first time and you open it, you're gonna be prompted to give permission to location services. So make sure you give that permission. Next, you're gonna need your Bluetooth on in order to connect. And you're gonna need your night shift controller also on. So just hold it for a second or two, it should boot up. Give it a moment to boot up. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is give your controller button a short press followed by a long press. Hold, hold, hold. When you see the blue-green light flashing, you can let go. Now it's ready to pair, so you're gonna hit connect on the app. And it should take a moment to find the night shift. There you go, it found it. It's gonna prompt you to name your device, so we'll just call it uh, TTT, whatever. Okay. And now you can start controlling your night shift. So here we can change the color to, uh, to green if we want. We can change the brightness. Uh, and then over here we can, uh, let's say we want to add blue to our favorites, we can add blue. And let's say we like uh, purple a lot, so we can add that. And then you can frequently switch back in between those two colors if you use them a lot. Uh, next we go to the animation page. Here you can access all the different kind of animations, so we'll just switch it to, uh, we'll switch it to here, a fireball. You got your fireballs going, you can switch it to black hole, whatever you like. And when you're happy with a certain animation and a color and you think you're going to use that one often, you can easily just hit the little star button in the top right corner. And that puts it into, oops, sorry. That puts it into your favorites. And um, let's say you also often use uh, a blue, um, let's say, I don't know, let's say you like a uh, portal. So you can hit the star on that your favorites and then you got your favorites that are easily accessible next we'll move into settings so if you tap the settings icon on the right you'll see here something called auto connect so if you tap that turn it on what it basically does is uh, let me demonstrate so uh, if we turn this off so what it basically does is when you want to go for a ride and you pull out your phone and open the app like this for about a minute, it's going to be searching for this particular controller that you just saved and named. So when you turn it on, give it a second. As soon as you put it into pairing mode, so single tap and then a long tap, as soon as you put it in pairing mode, it instantly pairs. So it just saves you a step of needing to go here, uh, hit connect, you don't have to do any of that. In order to use the uh, auto connect function, you need the controller in pairing mode, which is the blue and green flashing light. If it's not flashing blue and green, then it won't auto connect. Next is uh, devices. So here we have our controller that I named TT. Uh, I currently have it set as my default controller. The only reason why um, you would maybe not put it as your default controller is if you have two night shifts and let's say one's on your helmet and one's on your backpack. Um, and you usually take the one that's on your helmet because you go for a ride, you always need a helmet, but sometimes you don't take the backpack. So in that case, you would put your default as the one that's on your helmet. And when it comes to the auto connect feature, it basically searches for your default controller. So if you have two controllers, it'll pick the one that you define as the default. Yeah, so that's devices. We can also go here and forget device if uh, let's say you're borrowing it from a friend or whatever, or you don't need it anymore, you sold it, whatever. So if you, you want to forget this device, yes. So that clears it from there. If you back out, it's gone. And then um, here we have some updates. It just tells you if you have the latest firmware of the controller and if you have the latest app version. And if you don't, you can update the two. So I will show you guys again. We'll disconnect and we'll pair again. I'll show you with auto connect. So we'll put it in pairing mode. There, now it's searching for your phone. You open up the app. Oh, I forgot, we turned auto connect. Right, right, right. So we, we forgot the device, uh, which means auto connect doesn't know what device to look for, so we're gonna have to do it manually. So we'll connect. There, it's connected. Now we'll name this one RR. Here it says set as default device. So we have that automatically checked, okay. So now if we wanted to disconnect and try the auto connect feature, just put it back in a pairing mode. Open up the app and it should immediately connect. There you go, it says connected to RR. And you still got your favorites there. 
And that is the summary of the Light Mode app. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them.